Right, creating some clothes for the Make Human Avatar. It does have some default clothes already in it, um, but it's fairly easy to um, create your own. He says, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to right click the avatar and tab it into edit mode. It's all selected, so I want to unselect it by pressing A. Um, now I want to select some topology, so I'm going to Alt Shift right click um, a loop there. Alt Shift right click a loop there. Um, so I've collected two loops. Now I want to expand the selection, so I'm going to do Control plus a few times. And I've selected an area kind of like shorts. Now I want to I want to separate this off. So how do we do that? Um, I need to duplicate it first. So I'm going to do Shift D and then Enter. Um, and then I need to press P to separate. Uh, separate by selection. Now tab out of edit mode and right click the area um, we just made. And we've got a pair of skin tight pants. <laughs> um, I'm going to apply a material to these because um, at the moment it's just got the avatar skin on it. So I'm going to press plus, new, and call it pants. Um, let's give it a, a diffuse color. Um, let's go with that kind of color, kind of gray. Uh, tab into edit mode, select all that, and then with pants selected there, assign. And hey presto, we've got a base mesh for some pants. Right, so now now we've got that, that little piece made, uh, we can start working on them a bit. Um, what should we do? Let's try and add a belt. So select a face and do Alt Shift right click. Um, and Let's try. Let's ex, let's try extruding it. Extrude, enter, and then oh, drag with the mouse. Scale it back down a bit. That's kind of got a bit of a belt area, which we can change the color of. So we add a new material. We call it belt. Um, and then Alt Shift, right click that loop, and then press Control plus to grow the loop so it's got all that and then we'll assign that material let's make it kind of brownish and let's turn the specular down which is how shiny it is um, what else can we add on here we could do the same trick oh. alt shift right click alt shift right click extrude enter and then drew and just S to scale. Ooh. Now the problem we've got now is to do with origins, which is the origin between these two selections is is in the middle of uh, the space between the two of them, which is not what we want. Uh, so let's let's try that a little bit differently. We can change the origin point. The, the pivot for rotation scaling. Uh, if we change it possibly to individual origins. Let's try extrude, enter, then scale. And you see it now it's scaling up just on those two points. Um, if it's if it's going wildly big like that, if you press hold down shift while you drag, it kind of smooths the uh, scaling process out a bit. A bit smaller, scale. Well, that's good. Let's go with that. And now I'm going to press Control plus to grow the selection again. Um, let's call it turnips. Maybe like we've rolled the end of the shorts up. Let's assign those. Let's give those a slightly different colour. Let's go kind of blue and less shiny. Uh, well, hopefully when we put the rest of the avatar back by pressing forward slash we've got a stylish pair of shorts which are probably too shiny on the main colour um, so I'm going to 
return down the specular value for that. And you can do the same thing for gloves, shirts, hats. Um, let's, try, let's try and do a quick hat. Now, we'll, we'll stop there because otherwise it will wander on too long.